Hey guys, welcome back. And I received some shocking, upsetting, and some sad news to give to you all. In case you did not notice about what happened earlier today, I was like surfing the web and I was looking through my tablet. And while I was going to the WWE website, I found out that Daniel Bryan announced that he is retiring in ring competition. And I am like, are you serious? Like, I really want to know when Dear Boy is going to be back. And I'm like, nope, he's just going to retire. What, just because of, like, some percussion or a neck injury or something? And I'm, like, most definitely in shock. And that uh, Dale Bryan's retiring. Dale Bryan had an amazing year last year. Even though that... Dale Bryan was the sixth, sixth man to be, to become like what the to hold all the championships from WWE World Heavyweight Championship to US Champion to Intercontinental Championship to Tag Team Champions. I realized that Dan Bryan did the impossible, did the exact impossible when he beat Batista and Randy Orton to become the new WWE. World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 30. And I do notice that Dan Bryan was money in the bank back at 2011 and cashed in his money in the bank at TLC five months later. And he said that he's, he's going to cash in his money in the bank at WrestleMania, but he decided that he wanted to do it early even though he cashed in his money in the bank on the big show. He went through anger management, <laughs> and it was kind of funny though, even though that Dan Bryan has, yes, no problems with like, going with the WWE Universe, and then he went on to a tag team relationship with the Demon Kane, and and they defeated Kofi Kingston and r to become the tag team champions back at Night of Champions 2012. And <laughs> as we all know that Dale Bryan defeated John Cena to become the WWE Champion for the first time. That was until Randy Orton cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase because of Triple H cost him the opportunity even though that was a bit of a heel turn for Triple H. And what was it? Oh boy. And I remember that Dale Bryan got married to that awesome Brie mode, Brie Bella. And I remember Dale Bryan created that amazing book which says, well, what was it? That, I don't know what it's called, the Yes Road to WrestleMania or something like that? Or is it a whole life or something? And I heard that, um... I remember from 2010 that Daniel Bryan was part of Nexus, but heard that he was released or something like that and returned to SummerSlam to become their final partner for Team Cena. And and I remember Team WWE won, and that was kind of an awesome moment for Daniel Bryan. And what what that is? Oh boy. Honestly, I have no other things to say. Like, I have no other things to say from the moment of Daniel Bryan, even though he went through so many injuries, like, due to, um, neck injury, and was out of action for, like, what, eight months? Nine? Something like that? And weeks ago, after WrestleMania 31, he received another medical injury that that made him relinquish his Intercontinental Championship and back in Elimination Chamber he has he was sitting at on the chamber where Ryback won his first Intercontinental Championship and Dan Bryan congratulated him and that was the best moment ever what I do notice <laughs> that that Dan Bryan has been in part-time appearances and now he's moved on to retiring and I realized that is it for Daniel Bryan the yes movement and 
I realized that I'm gonna be like complete shock and I'm gonna be like completely run out of words to say even though that Dan Bryan is the man that he can beat anybody in his past whether he can do the impossible like win the Intercontinental Championship last year at Wrestlemania and win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship the year before from Wrestlemania 30 and 31 and it was congratulated by so many legends that have won the Intercontinental Championship like Bret Hart, Roddy Roddy Piper, Ron Simmons and more and I just felt so touched by Dale Bryan's memorable career and his career has come to an end and I am most definitely shocked that Dale Bryan is retiring and he is announced in Monday Night Raw tonight that he is going to retire and I am just like super nervous of what's gonna happen like I don't know I just completely don't know but thank you guys for watching this update vlog for Dale Bryan's retiring. I I am like so upset and mad, like a little mad, but in shock. But I just like what's gonna happen next for Dale Bryan? Even though he wants to have a family or something. But then again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one for reactions for Monday Night Raw.